Hello and welcome back, the lovely Lou I know, Spilson. babe, it's so exciting, I, honestly. I cannot believe, it's actually just over a year now that we sat in this Aye. very same car park. Car, just same that same space car park there. Spot them, I love it. <laughs> um, a year later, and you actually messaged me, but I, do you know when it was? Back in February, because somebody on Lucy's Live on TikTok had mm-hmm. suggested, why don't you why do don't that do? annually? Uh, and, like, like a second like, part, and I was like, so, oh, definitely. And they messaged me, it. and I was like, I am up for that, totally. <laughs> now, um, <clears throat> we have to mention it because Aye. it's happened. It's part of your life. Lewis lost his mum this year. If you follow him, you'll know mm-hmm. that. Um, very, very suddenly. It was during the summer. Um, I so it was August, Aye. so it was like um, um, the eleventh of so August. So we're not going to, for obvious reasons. You're still, you're still getting still over very it. raw. It's still... actually more raw now than what it was Aye, a way it's, back. I it's... know, and you're doing this, and I, I would have been all right not to do this. I know, you know? I know, hey, I know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but you know, because it's in between Christmas and New Year, and Christmas time, don't want to be de- depressive, but Christmas time's a hard time it anyway is. because it there is, is always. Me, there isn't anybody out there that has not lost somebody. And Christmas time's that one time mm-hmm. where it really hits home. Aye. And I definitely think like the first of everything's always the worst. So like this first Christmas, don't get me wrong, I had all my family around about me, all the sisters and whatever else. And I did have a lovely time, but it was always in the back of my mind. I'm like, oh my God, my mum should have been here the day. And you know, it's just, it's awful that it is. It's no right. It's, I know. It's and I was sad. just it's... saying to you, it was so sudden that even... If any of you remember last year's that we did, mm-hmm. Lewis talked about his dad being mm-hmm. no well, and there was no chat at all whatsoever about your mum. Aye, so that's, that's how sudden it was. Mm-hmm. So we've said, we've mentioned that, we've acknowledged it. We're not going to talk about it today um, because maybe one day you will Aye. want to talk about mm, it and definitely. that'll be fine, but it's not the day. It's not the, the day, day for that. So that's okay. <laughs> that, that is, is fine. Okay. Right. So. <clears throat> what is happening with you? How are you, first of all? <sighs> no bad. Obviously, my mum, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm no bad. I'm no bad. I'm getting there. It's just, I just can't wait to be back to work now. Because I yeah. think I've had too much, too long off. Yeah. I just can't wait to get like, back into work mode and just, because I think that's such a big distraction for me. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? To keep yourself occupied. I don't keep it right. I'm still doing my clients and stuff like that at the weekends. The makeup. Um, aye. Mm-hmm. Um, so, new year, I'm fully booked. I'm absolutely back to back. For the bells. For aye, the for the bells, aye. Uh-huh. Aye, so I've got about eight today. So if you're watching, honestly, go easy on me because I'll be stressed <laughs> out, honest to God. At least you've got that to keep you busy, though. I know, it's... and see if I didn't have that, I don't know what I'd do. I'd, I'd turn into a functioning mm. alcoholic, man, honestly. <laughs> but I. Are you still, is your dad still awake? Because I saw your post. Well, mm-hmm. you messaged me, the washing <laughs> machine packed in. Oh <laughs> my God. I was like, yeah. Bastard, I was raging and see the hangers. Like, my dad's all right with hangers like that. He'd been able to sort that. Mm-hmm. But I it packed in literally the second day that he was away, and I was like, oh my God. So I kind of deal with this. It's all right now. Do you know what I mean? We've got a new year and whatever now. Um, but I, so you still away. My dad's back the motor. Oh, I see. Uh, did you know about the washing machine? I, did I you? have to tell him, and he's obviously his signal on this boat is absolutely horrific. Do you know what I mean? Because it's the Canary Islands. Mm-hmm. And, um, but I. He's back so, here in the morning, I can't good. wait. Um, so, um, I never thought I'd say it, I'd be like, honestly, I have been missing my dad like crazy, do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. but I. Did he know he was going to go away this I, year? Aye, so that, that has been booked for nearly two years, right? Aye. And he wasn't Because they weren't together, that's no, the other aye, thing. Your mum and dad weren't together. Aye. Great relationship, but Brilliant just relationship. Work aye, my dad was weird right up until then, do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. We all were. Um, but I, my dad's. Aye, so he knew he was going on this cruise and he says, ah, I'm not going to go because of the circumstances. He's like, I wasn't going to leave you boys on your own at Christmas. And we're like, ah, no, you'll be gone. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's been booked. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I wanted the house to myself so I could have a party, <laughs> Mary. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so you, I was you like, parties? Oh, one, I've had one, and I'm saying a party, and it was only like seven years, do you know what I mean? So it wasn't as if it was the Project X. Uh-huh. I've had worse, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I, uh, my... And you're still, but you've also got, you know, your free time because it was you, it was you that taught me about that that uh, <laughs> app. <laughs> I'm laughing, you're laughing as well. Uh, Every time I talk about it, no, no, I'm like, I know what that is because Lewis told me. Uh, Grindr, Grindr, is it? Uh, it. You still talking to the guys on Grinder? Oh, talk- I always, I'm always <laughs> chatting back and forth to guys in Grinder, and I'll tell you a story, Mary. Honestly, <clears throat> this was last year. Um, no, I'm telling you a lie, this was at the start of the year, I think this was in February. 
So when my dad take us in stays with his pal Linda loads in the low mm -hmm. village. They're mm -hmm. like that, the two of them are dead, mm -hmm. dead close. Mm -hmm. And normally, if I was ever to meet a guy, I would date when the house was empty, do you know what I mean? Well, and, um, obviously, you would date. So, <laughs> so obviously, in. my dad stays in a flat, right? right. And um, so my dad gets away doing his pals and that, and I get this guy doing. I'm not mentioning his name, <laughs> but uh, I got this guy in, right, and I swear to God, we just, he came in, we were in the living room for about 20 minutes and went into the room or whatever, and I was like, what's that noise? And I could hear the key in the door, but my key was already in the front door, and I was like, fuck. I mean, this is that somebody trying that door, so I'm doing the it was my dad's. And I've never been in that situation before in my life, and I was like, Oh my God, I went, right, Dad, this is what is it? And he's like, oh, I've went and forgot my, my medication, my prescription. And I'm like, shit, 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 shit. So I've like, kind of ran up the stairs ahead and I'm like, don't come out that room, don't come out the room, because I think my dad would die if there was a man in the house, because I'm not like that. Uh, you do you know what I mean? Home I don't, your dad's no, there. no, I would never do that. And I'm like, oh my God, my heart was my mouth, and he knew there was something like, because I was like, hurrying them out. <laughs> <laughs> he said to me, he said to me the next again in the phone, he says, did you have some gin? I went, no. I went, he says, who was it? Uh, the boots at the top of the stair? I went, they're mine. He like, at Lewis, you wouldn't wear them. And I was like, oh, I mean, <laughs> I did. And I was mortified, Mary, I really was. I went, my dad still says he's me as the fucking Virgin Mary. Do you know what I mean? I'm the, it's not what you want to do. It's not what I want. Your no. no, I get that. That's not what you want, really. Um, so the... The work thing, because you talked about, mm -hmm. like, we'll jump out of the place, but I'll ask you more about grind or whatever. But last year, you were going back down to Skeg, Skeggy or whatever aye. it is you call it mm -hmm. anyway. Are you doing that again aye, this aye, year? I'm Definitely, a, aye. that's... 100% that is, I'm a going back. I wasn't going to go back next aye, year. I thought, and, but you even went back in the summer for a wee while, aye, didn't you? Aye, because obviously after my mum... I was like, I need to go back to work. It was just something telling me. And that's what my mum would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted me sitting about doing nothing. Um, so my big brother went back to his work. And then my wee brother went back to his work. And I'm like, I'll go back to my work. So I did go back. And I think that was the right thing for me to do. Because I think if I didn't go back, my mental health would have just taken a complete nosedive. Like, seen no having that distraction. Mm -hmm. Especially after it just happening with my mum. Do you know what I mean? But I, I did go back. And I wasn't going to go back next year because... Um, I just wanted that to make my last season. I wanted to do something else. But because in my mum this year, and I didn't do the full season, that's why I want to go back to do just one maiden next year. Will be my last season. Oh, and really? then you definitely I, want to put As much as I love every single like, one of them to bits, I've had the best time ever. I've learnt so much. I've had the best experiences in my life. I've done the stuff that money can't buy with that company. Do you know what I mean? Like It's amazing the stuff I've done. Um, but no, I think next year will definitely be my last season. I just want to move mm -hmm. on and do something completely different. Well, not completely different, still entertainment. But I'm thinking about abroad and stuff like that as well. I said that the last mm -hmm. time, and but definitely 2025. Well, that's your year. That'll that be the year. To, I need to be kind to yourself as I know, well. Look I know. After yourself, um, after what you've been through, and mm -hmm. you're still going through the whole healing process, which will go on for the rest of your life I will. anyway. It definitely but will. Uh, you need to put yourself mm -hmm. first. Mind you talked about Big Brother as well. Are we allowed to talk Touch about that? Touch a subject. Are we allowed to talk um, about that? So obviously I did apply three times I applied for Big Brother. Three years in a row? No, or three for the same? Three times. Different email addresses and I've written Mary, I was like, they can't. I just wanted to try and like apply as much as I can, but if you use the same email, email address, it doesn't obviously get through. You need to use a different one. I was told mm -hmm. that after somebody on TikTok. So how do they do that? So then? basically, it, you just apply, right? There's an application form that you upload a video to, right? And I've done it. And then I never heard anything back for months. And I was like, no, I'm going to apply again under a different email address. So I did. Never heard anything. Then I'd done a third one. And then I did hear back. And I was in like the second process of the, the application. So the review it basically gave the thumbs up. Then they asked for me. So then I had to make another video saying like what I would bring to the house and stuff like that. And then I never heard back from them. And I was so raging, Mary. Because I really wanted to do that mm -hmm. fucking show. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And they were and I'm desperate like, to get good people. I know. It. But I was like... But then, like, producers and that were starting to tweet things, saying, like, oh, we don't want, like, influencer-based people. And I'm like, I would never put myself in as an influencer. I just create content, do you know what I mean? An influence, an influencer to me is, like, somebody that just does social media. But, but they the did life. have influencers But they did it? have influencers on it. And I was like, what the hell? I was fuming. 
Oh, that's, a that's raging. A shame, but I will. I will try next year again. Aye, because they've already put the advert. Aye, I that's right. Um, looking for. Did you know who the producers are or anything like that? Do you not know anybody that that does? I knew one of the guys. I'm not. I can't say his name. His name but uh, you've yeah. got a contact. Can you Aye. go back to the contact? I'm not sure. I don't want to just bombard the person and mm -hmm. seem like a bit of annoyance. Do you know what I mean? But I might drop a wee message again. Aye. Aye, and just pick that up. Mm -hmm. and, do it. And then what are you going to do after the caravan then? What do you so I went to the abroad, um, obviously, I don't know, like Cyprus is like right up there for me. I've mm -hmm. looked at what it and stuff like that. And because just own... children's entertainment, oh, do you really? know what I mean? Just right. the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously a wee bit of family entertainment as well, do you know what I mean? But there's so many different things, like see if you look really like, two way or do you know what I mean? Like somebody else, it's like you date a bit of everything. So like the deal at the holiday rate as well. And I see that everybody thinks I'm a holiday rate, but there's mm -hmm. a big massive difference for a holiday rate into a holiday park entertainer. Holiday rate is somebody that invites people into the club for a tree of shorts and I'll come in and you'll get this off your tickets and mm -hmm. whatever else. And I'm not that. Do you know what I mean? I'm an entertainer. I'm no somebody that's on the outside. But a pair of shorts shown and a tree of shorts. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's completely mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. And I have looked right into it. And majority of the places abroad, that's what you would be doing, and as well as the children's entertainment and as well as the family stuff and all. But I don't want to do that. I just want to do the entertainment and know the rape inside it. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I'm like, mm -hmm. nah, it's not so what it's I mean. proper. So what you want to do is, it's not really you're not going with two or no. one of these holiday companies. It would be it's like proper entertainment aye. companies. Mm -hmm. See the hotel that we were in on holiday in Grand Canaria. The entertainment was. Fabulous, Brilliant. like absolutely mm -hmm. off the scale, and it was independent right. entertainment See, people that's and companies. What I want, so, uh, you need to find a way. How mm -hmm. do you get into that? It's like, uh, oh, Paddy, Lewis is on the Red Bull. I'm on the Red Bull, and it makes me very <laughs> gassy. Um, but I think quite a lot of it's through like agency work as well. And if you just as soon as you get your foot in the door, that's it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I think in this industry, it's not what you know, it's who you know as well. And I, I do have a few mm -hmm. contacts. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I will see what happens in 2025 yeah. and I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to it because I know for a fact I will get a job like that abroad, do you know oh, what I mean? Definitely. I'm not shagging my own ash, but I know I will, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And the thing is, as I said before, the influencer thing does help you. Whether it does, it you, whether definitely you does. Like it, whether people like saying it or no, mm -hmm. you know, because I don't like the word influencer. I hate either. it. I know, I it's it. so cringe. Mm -hmm. It um, is, isn't it? But it does, mm -hmm. people can see it's your showcase. Aye. Real, aye, if aye, you that's like, it. people that can is, see it's what you do. It. And talk about the TikTok, are you on the uh, influencer? Creator program fund? Aye, Creator Fund, aye. I'm on Creator so Fund. I've been on, I've been on Creator Fund for years, actually, like, since I first kind of I made TikTok. So for like, you need video? to Aye, so you need to get, like, over a certain amount of views on each video. Um, so I think, like, you're over, like, 10,000 views, and that's when you start, like, accumulating, obviously, the money, like, mm -hmm. pair view and stuff like that. But because I've been really, really quiet... I know, on you've TikTok not been, recently. I was having a look. No, yeah. I know, and I have been taking a, a right long break um, for, to, to, for making content because I just don't feel as if I've, got, I've just not got that bite now for it. I just don't. But see, when I'm back at work, that's when I want to do all my content. Mm. So it's as if, like, when I'm up the road, I'm not in work mode, but when I'm back at my own work, that's when I do the content and my work. Do you know what I mean? It's Aye. weird. Mm -hmm. Like, you would think, because I've got all this free time up here, like, the content would be through the roof. But I can't be fucked, Mary. I'm like, I can't be hard. Do you know what I mean? Because it does no. take a lot. Do you know what I mean? No, it's it like does. It people does. don't appreciate, and I don't do anything like to your level, but it people does don't take... appreciate the the time and energy that goes into it. And I don't know if this affects you. I'm sure it will. And under the circumstances, mm -hmm. it's having an impact on you. Is your frame of mind? Mm -hmm. Like it's not just as easy as getting up and going. Well, I'm I'm Lewis Wilson, so I can do anything. Oh, no. I can put <laughs> it's anything not... in the day. It's, it's not, not like in my experience, it's Aye. no like that. It's I mean, not. if you're feeling in any way, you know, upset, mm -hmm. sad, whatever, I don't know if you're the same, but I am. I Aye. cannot get into the frame of mind no, of creating I content. cannot, I couldn't. I literally, just, I don't know what I would, I just can't. Kind of Your imagination's in the bin, mm -hmm. really. It is, it just... definitely is. Mm -hmm. But there are, 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 there are some days, and I'm like, oh, I'm thinking about this. And I write them all down on my notes, my phone. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I do come up with loads of different ideas because my brain's crazy, the way it works. It's just nuts. And I do come up with all these ideas. And these are all the ideas all day when I get back to my work. Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. when I'm on work mode and 
I will be back to the content and they've got, it's got to be brilliant. It's got to be amazing. Yeah, I, can't wait. Yeah, I know what I can't wait. Good. I can't. Wait. And you brought like so we need to talk about the I don't even know if they've got names. I mean Judy's got her name. Judy. Judy. Right. But the nurse Oh, oh I never done Nudy uh, no, I, Nudy. <laughs> I never done Judy the last time, didn't I? Know. No, because when we talked last year, you were talking, you had another idea, uh, and I don't know if you've shared that it, publicly, uh, have no. you? What that, right? So I'm no. going to say what that was. But it didn't become that. It didn't. It, I just felt as if it was just. It wasn't you going where, it. It, no, it wasn't. I, I was watching it, and I don't watch my videos. Back. So you've made those videos? One then? or two, and I'm like, uh, no, I'm, I don't <laughs> like it. I'm cringing at the back. Like, uh, I honestly I cringe too much, but I've got another character in mind which is going to be good for next year. I well, still with Dean Judy. Aye. Um, and Chantel will be coming back as well. Oh, but... Chantel coming back? Aye, because I just feel that like everybody just loves Aye. that. Aye. And Aye. I've tried to make it as realistic as possible. Like, don't, don't do any Chantel content for as long as possible because, like, I first made Chantel when she was about eight. Aye. So I'm about it to be like fucking 14 this time. So <laughs> I can proper get into the nitty gritty things. Like, like she, oh she stabs somebody at the school and do you know what I mean like Aye. proper good stuff like I kind of feel like do you know what I mean like an eight year old's like taking drugs they're doing this they're doing that like this Aye. is the way I want to portray this last thing now it's Aye. like a wee bastard like mm -hmm. an evil evil child do you know what I mean mm -hmm. but in the teens but in the teens like getting up to no goods and whatever and then at the end so I want to like get her to like process of being good again and stuff like that it's just i've got loads of different ideas so you've got the stories in mind for I, i've got loads of stories and you'll still be chantelle's mum mm -hmm. telling the stories not actually like chantelle no no because I, I tried it once and i looked back at it and i didn't like it like i tried to so be you Chantel. must make loads of content that nobody even sees <laughs> i do i do a lot <laughs> i do and um I do quite a lot and I post it one one time, it's still on TikTok. Uh, like me and my bloopers and that. Aye, aye. I and saw it, it. And I they saw loved it. Was it. And everybody absolutely loved it's it. And hilarious. I'm like, oh, God's sake, it is so hard when you watch that, you understand how hard it is to aye. like see Judy, that's extremely hard because what else can you make up with this old woman in a nursing home? Aye, what else can aye. you do? What like there's only so much you can do. Uh, do you know I know, what I, I mean? know, I agree with you, I know. It's like um, before, it's, it's like Rab seen this, but or anything that uh, was legendary, mm -hmm. it did actually have to stop at it one did, point. It did, because there was nothing else for it to do. <laughs> <laughs> and so I loved Rab seen this, do you know what I mean? I know. Loved it. Uh, I love Elaine C. Smith, I know I love her to bits. I know, it's just there does come a again. point where it's reached its Aye. expiry date and that's it, you just need to go on with it. But going up. back to the Judy though, how did you come up with that then? Because that was not on the cards no, when wasn't. I spoke to you last year. It was year. not, it and definitely So was how not. did you come up with that? It was just one day, right, and I was, I was well, uh, lying in the caravan and I, was, I had a hangover, it was a Tuesday. And I was just lying and I just got up and I just started walking like that and I, it was a walk. That I just started Did again. you ever sore back? And Did I, you? I, cause I was lying doing like that for Aye. ages on the couch and my back was starting to like up like that and I was like, fuck. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? And then I went, and then it just quit and I'm like, ah. and I started walking about with this kind of a limp all that day and I'm like, why am I doing it? Because my back's leaving the same anyway. <laughs> and it's all part of the ADHD. You do these, and these random things. <laughs> I was just walking like that and that's it. And I was just like, ah. And I just started coming out with shit and I was like, oh, I'm going to make a video the day. And it did, it went fucking viral. We get about 1.2 million views and I'm like, oh, that's brilliant, Lou. I know, I know. I was looking at it. I know, and I looked at all the comments as well. People were saying, I'm a carer and that's exactly and how my it. back. And I know carers is, were coming um, in. People who had carers going into their family. Um, Everybody was coming in and saying. And you know, one thing I didn't want to do, I wasn't wanting to offend anybody in that no, industry yeah. because I take my hats off to every nurse, mm -hmm. every carer. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's a hard job, it's not easy. Um, and it is, all the audience for that is all carers or nurses Aye. and I'm so glad that's the way it's turned out. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want them to think that I was mimicking them or making a fail them because that was Aye. never ever the intention mm -hmm. there. And was there but, any that you knew that you took the inspiration from because it was dead accurate? So I might <laughs> say that to you about, uh, about Chantel's mum and you were like, nah, nah, I didn't. Nobody inspired me because somebody, had, people used to ask it. Did your mum inspire I, that? No. And even back then, you were like, my mum was not <laughs> really like that. that. But no. I was like, how can it be that realistic Do, then? I like, know, your mum pulling your hair when she's doing your hair when you're me. But that just never really came for anything, to be honest. I just you don't just know. You just made it up I, completely. Mm -hmm. I can remember Judy. the last time 
we were talking about Chantel the Chantel content I watched her thing and I watched it back our video and I said I watched her thing with Kerry Katona and it wasn't Kerry Katona she wasn't she wasn't the one that was playing I this am, mother uh -huh. it was somebody completely different because I googled it when I went home and I was like who is who was that again and I still can't for the life of me remember it but it was this woman I've seen on the telly and she was a dead rough mom she was sitting in the kitchen she had the ashtray and all that with the with the fags and it was just like a big smoke cloud and she was dead she was horrible at the veins and all that and it, that gave me the inspiration right. and then I just I don't know it, it just, just went through there because it was so realistic and the Judy thing is so realistic as well mm. and there's nothing at all that you've <laughs> chased <laughs> at no I, I honestly no have ne I've never even really I think I've been in a nursing home once it's as, as if I've no it's not based off of anybody honestly uh, it have me. you got more of that uh, you said you have so you're going Aye. to do more Judy as well because that's good probably I do yeah. like Judy and Aye. See now, I, I liked it because for a while it was like when people were seeing me out in the streets and that it was all about Chantel. That's mm -hmm. all they would mention, but now they mention Judy, and I love that. Like Aye. I just love how they mention Judy now and no Chantel because sometimes when you're getting people would shout Chantel and it would give me the fear and it would give me the ick. I'd be like, oh shut up, just come up and say hi, Amy. Do you know what I mean? And Aye. talk to me instead of shouting the word Chantel. So if you're watching and if you see me out in the streets, please don't shout Chantel, just shout Lewis. <laughs> you know or Judy, I mean? you even know about or that Judy. now. I was going to ask you something else about the Judy thing there. I was going to ask you about the comments, because um, you were saying what that video went viral and it's mental. They've all went kind of a viral. It's mental. It's <laughs> I, they, have, I, they have, and it is crazy. But I had a look at the comments, and we know you'll always get the troll comments. Oh, I and so See, like, I love it. Off, I, do you know what I mean? You're the same. Um, like, I'll thrive on it. I, 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 you get to the point where it's just like, fuck, all right, oh, <laughs> There's far like, too many oh, people love it. I know. For, like, for, for you to for, bother. For there to be negative but, there. But I did laugh at though. I do. I don't know if you laugh at some of them. Oh, I do. I do. I do. Because, um, I, I had a small wee video and it meant viral. Not <laughs> like you. Oh, and it was on that. Instagram. And it was me just trying to get Keith to dance to uh, the Porsche and Bex Islands and the stream line dance. Oh, the right, documentary, right? Uh -huh. And Keith was fucking stony faced. I love no, that. No, it went viral. <laughs> so anyway, I had people in the comments though coming in and saying, and I was genuinely killing myself laughing. Uh -huh. I know what Keith's like. It's your typical central Scotland, Glasgow, I you know, working that. class uh -huh. man. Uh -huh. Not fucking interested Aye. in making content for social media <laughs> one bit right so he's got the big stony face people were coming in and saying things like dancing to this song does not make you victoria beckham you oh know, my like, god <laughs> <laughs> like, excuse me do you know what i mean like who like <laughs> Uh, who cares? Oh do you know God. what I mean? But with your videos, right? So the reason I was telling that story is I saw somebody <laughs> backing, backing up on you. You don't test urine for blood <laughs> so nice. <laughs> no, no, that's good. Because I was like, uh, what was it? I said, I said, right, Judy, I said, come on, I said, get your medication sick. And your urine and fat and your, 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 oh no, I've lost it, I've lost it completely. I was some of it getting our hands taken. And I'm like, who is your face? <laughs> Uh, why would that ever show up in your blood or your urine? Do you know what I mean? A UTI I mean, in blood. <laughs> but not oh. only that, Lewis, it's a fucking joke. I know, do you know what I mean? You're not a healthcare professional. <laughs> You're not fucking just about to go to your job at exactly. the Russia General. Do you know what I mean? I would completely understand, do you know what I mean? Uh, but I, I, so, Jesus Christ. Did you, did you reply to what ones like that? No, really. What no. I usually find, Some and I'm sure. Reply. And yours, it was like this. <coughs> Other people reply for you. I a lot Other of my people go in and say that. it's a joke, yeah, clown, I, or whatever. Do you know what I mean? But, and that's all my followers have always got my back. Like, see, sometimes if I post the stats on Facebook, all my notifications are turned off on Facebook. Right, I'll only choose when I want to see the comments. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And oh, there was one day I put that status up, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, for God, for the life of me, I can't remember. What was that about? Do you remember what it was about? Oh, I can't. I really can't. I can't remember now. But anyway, and I wasn't bothered. I never even read the comments or nothing. And then, I think it was one of my pals that says, let's go and look at the comments. And I was looking at the comments and I swear to God, my followers were slating this woman because she said something about fag. Right? All oh, right, okay. Um, Which is a oh, very Scottish word that we use all the time, but can be... 
offensive. Oh no, it was that, that was it. It was um, sick of seeing that faggot on oh, my um, oh, on my timeline. Oh, I thought you meant you, you were taught. Oh, right. No, and right, she right. called me a faggot, and I oh, hate right, that okay. bloody word. I hate that mm -hmm. word. And I'm sure I said I should have said that I hated that word in the last video. You know what? I hate it. And it's not a word it, we use it, at all. I thought you were talking about. Something but it else. wasn't actual the, the the word. It was like an, an actual emoji, the fag emoji. Oh, and right, all my okay. followers slating right. this woman and whatever. Right. And she messaged me. And she was like, "I'm so sorry." So I don't know what I was thinking. And I never ever messaged her back. I'm like, that's a big, massive, offensive thing to say to somebody. I said, "You don't just say that out of a mistake." Right. So I mean, all my followers were. were Oh, you would never. And uh, the woman, I swear to God, the woman actually deleted her full Facebook, a full Facebook. And, and they wonder because she probably done and me people laugh. <laughs> and I've never she seen did. something like that in your page. The people. Aye, and I was, I, and I couldn't stop thinking about this. And I'm like, oh God, so that woman's anxiety has got to be through the roof. And I'm like, no, do you know what? Fuck <laughs> it. I said, Shh, fuck it. Do you know what I mean? I'm surprised I never tried to do it in leather. Do you know what I mean? Cheeky can. But I, and my followers were going right in, and it, mm -hmm. it was crazy. It was, mm -hmm. but that's what it was. I the emoji have... thing. Nah, that's mental because I must admit, I, and I've got you on Facebook as well. I don't see any hate on Facebook. Ever. No, Facebook is never, there's never uh, any hate no. on there. It um, is, it's all TikTok. Aye, TikTok. It is. TikTok is really, mm -hmm. it's not a good platform. It's, it's no. no. But what I've learned, so I've been doing TikTok more now, I've decided to yeah. get over myself and just get fucking on with it and embrace <laughs> it. And what I've learned is I feel. Though the people on TikTok, it's like they've went on just to do that. Mm. Like they're just there Aye. to scroll through videos with their fake profiles and Aye. just do the... Qu like they're uh -huh. not actually people that have came looking for you to a certain Aye, extent. Well, I me. don't think... Mm -hmm. I think they're just warped people. Aye. But... It's like, do you know, this was, I'll not mention this boy's name either, right? But he works... Um, in the kitchen doing at my work and we've got like three kitchens because there's loads of different places we can go to eat and I can't stand him and see so if you watch this you know who he's talking about right I cannot <laughs> stand him everybody knows I hate him right but is there a reason <clears throat> because they, they were on my TikTok they were trolling me on oh, it okay, and they were so just like one of your trolls aye and I was like that and I knew straight away who it was and then I went up to the Goldie's Lounge one day to get chicken nuggets and he said something to me that he had said on in the live and it drawn back me and I was like, oh, so it's you then? And mm. I went fucking crazy, Mary. I mean, batshit crazy. And he's like, oh, I think you're taking it a bit far. I said, no, I don't. I said, because you actually got your way. I said, you've made a group chat. I said, do you know all your wee pals that are coming in and you're saying the same thing on and on again? Basically, they were bamming me up saying this boy fancied me, right? And the boy's not even gay. It's another mm -hmm. boy that works in a bar. They're just taking a piss out of him. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I'm like, mm -hmm. fuck off, man. I don't actually care. I mm -hmm. couldn't give a shit. And I'm like, go and get into somebody else's life and keep your shell entertained. And I was absolutely raging. So basically, I had made a group chat and all of them at the same time were coming into my lives when I was going live, saying the same thing on and on again. And I just learned to like, ignore it. But then I was like, no, do you know what is doing my head in now? <clears throat> so I complained about him at work and everything. Mm -hmm. And I've like, honestly gone, uh, I said, no, I never. We've not actually got a HR. Oh, right, okay. Um, just, just your manager. Just the management. Um, and I, and he did, so somebody gave him a warning and whatever else like that, but I swear to God, like, every time I see him, I could just fucking smash his seat in, <laughs> like, I swear to God. Well, and I know, it's see, 2024 mm -hmm. bend, I will batter that boy. <laughs> I will, and I will, and I'm no joking. Does he know? I will, and I hope he watches. Does he not know where you're from? You're fake. You're from. No, the honestly, I will. I'll knock the boy clean. I will. I'll knock the boy clean. I hate him. Can't stand Is it, him. That's your pal. Yeah, that's your plan for the end of 2024. I, I, I don't that. know how you do that. I don't know if I could face <laughs> a troll that I knew was trolling mm -hmm. me like day in day. Don't get me wrong. They've not done it in a while because mm -hmm. obviously when I lose my shit, I was like, no, I don't think so. Do you know what I mean? They've not done it in ages, but. They'll still say like wee odd things and that, and I'm like, go mm -hmm. away, man! Like, bull. It's just your typical southerners. Some of them can be rats. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you know it was that I mean? this year that that happened. Aye. So mm -hmm. that's one of the th the troll experiences Aye. for this year. But other than that, like, well, like I say, uh, that's quite unusual. That's ah, that, that's surely. just that's just immaturity. Aye. That's not like bullying, bullying. But, mm -hmm. oh my God, the troll comments I get are unbelievable. I love them. I think they're so funny. And see, when you're doing do. lives, do you not have these... Um... Moderators. Mm -hmm. I do have some moderators. Um, but I don't really tend to go live anymore. Right. I, don't, I don't really go live that much. See, the thing is, like, I don't think... 
see on TikTok, you know, yourself, see these people and these rising stars and all these live gifts and all that. See that? I can't be fucked with oh, that. See that. And I see know. if you're doing that, yeah. right, and you're on there. And you, I've seen some people, right, get on a live, Mary, and getting sent like four grand worth of worth of gifts. I can't even get over that. And that see that happens. to me, like, I'm like, I couldn't sit there on live. And take everybody's money, mm -hmm. and they're shutting they're begging, well with me either, and they're, like they're begging either. and begging and begging people to send them the gifts. See if I go live, see if someone sends me a gift. I'm, oh, thanks very much. I don't go near and say, right, get the gifts in, get the gifts in. Mm -hmm. I couldn't give a fuck but about a, a gift. There's a big, big, massive controversy about this. Massive. In TikTok. Have you been on it? Have you seen what's going on? No, really, I don't take much of so, it. To be honest, I don't know the whole story either. I've only seen wee bits of it, and people that I know have been talking about it, but some lassie got herself into, I need to watch what I'm saying because I don't know the whole I story am. and our family could be watching this for all I know but something horrendous happened with gifting, she got herself into a state when it came to gifting right. um, on a live and is now no longer with us and that was just recent, just in oh the last few God. weeks, that's a big thing on TikTok now but I don't go when I see stuff like that, I don't go looking for it. Mm. Like, it's came up. I it's came saw, up. I and saw the al person's... What you call it? Your al algorithm. algorithm. That'll aye. be all the same anyway. Aye. So it will constantly come aye, up for you, Mary. Um, so there's not... But there hasn't been that much on it. Just somebody I know is one other lassie. But I think TikTok do need to do something about that. People... Aye. Apparently... Aye. ...are getting themselves into quite a state. It's terrible, Mary. I've seen loads of amount of bullying on there especially when it comes to like, the gifting and stuff like i watched a guy don't get me wrong i don't actually like him i don't particularly like this guy he does my heat in i always see him on the tiktok don't get me wrong i would never go into his posts and bad mouth them i troll uh, him or anything like that right. because i just scroll on uh, see, I don't like, do you know what i mean exactly. if you don't like someone just scroll normal on folk day. Just scroll normal folk on. day. Uh, and there was one night i felt that heart sorry for him right he was out in glasgow and he was live and he was walking about and somebody led at the laddie right and on I was TikTok live? On TikTok live. Oh my God. And um, I'll tell you about it at the end. Right. But, and I felt that heart sorry for him. And I started to watch him. And I gave him a wee comment. I said, I said, I'm so sorry about whatever happened to you and that. And and then he said something to this person that commented. And I can't remember what it was, but it was cheeky as fuck. Mm. And I was like, oh no, I really can't stand you now. And I'm glad mm. you get laid it. But that was me feeling sorry for that boy do you know what i mean now that happens all the time see the amount of fights people get the shell in it i've seen people getting their wings seen after them and everything marry or tiktok drama like people mm -hmm. phoning social work and all that and i'm like what the fuck like that's crazy it me. was a ma i know it was a, i think i know who you're talking about with that it was mm -hmm. a massive mm -hmm. thing for ages and it was one of the main reasons that put me off tiktok i've Aye. had a tiktok account for years mm -hmm. and never done anything with it because i thought i can't can be part of that that that's absolute the drama. craziness Aye that goes on mm -hmm. because for a while it was all that was coming up on your fyp as well it's and it then makes the you think that that's all there is because that's there that is was how i felt and even when i first like started doing it just at the end of november like really throwing myself out there mm -hmm. i was terrified it is it's but scary. i must admit we've been just a wee toty page like i'm I not getting you, you, I i'm enjoying it, it. Enjoy i'm like it. i actually quite like this it's Aye. no it's no too much like Aye. i think see when you start to get or the fifty thousand followers Aye, that's boy. it you, you're guaranteed to get the shows because i can mind see when i had my wee ten thousand my mm -hmm. wee seven thousand or whatever mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. it was great i used to go in there used to dance i used to love it and then boom it started growing and growing and that's when it all just became tits up but I've learnt to deal with that now. I couldn't be asked. I can't. I don't care if anybody's getting bad. Does it put me. you off at a point, <clears> though? It did to a point. Aye. Mm -hmm. Did it take you off it? Did it ever take you away from what you do I, best? For a couple of weeks in that, aye, but no, a long t period of time. And you know that is why I think that because I'm so sensitive right now, married, right? mm -hmm. and that is why I feel as if I'm not posting as much content. It's because I'm fear that somebody says something to me and it really, really Affects destroys you. my mental mm -hmm. health. Like, because I've seen what people can say. Mm -hmm. And I posted a wee video for my mum, right, on my TikTok. Don't, don't get me right, oh, get loads of likes and loads of comments with people and whatever. Back and, uh, when lovely you Lovely stuff. Back when I lost it. And then 
And then I was like, you know, I'm going to delete that. I can fear that somebody does put something bad in there because if somebody puts something bad in there, that, that would you. crumble me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I did mm -hmm. I just turn it off and I deleted it. Do you know what I mean? I've still got the video and it's mm -hmm. on my Facebook I have still. Not seen, no, I have not seen um, it. It's just with photos and different oh, clips of my mum and that. Do you know what I mean? It's, I have seen it because um, it's just a wee in fact, I've no, clip. I've not actually deleted it off my TikTok. What I've done is I've... Made it private. I've made it um, so only it's my eyes that can see it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what we'll I mean? Keep it for the memories and maybe share oh, that's it again. Oh, terrible doing here. But I, I've like kept it so well I can see it and nobody else can see it. But I, the the drama on there can be terrible. Mm -hmm. And you're and you've alluded to that there. You're just no feeling strong enough. No, no, definitely no. So no. that is another reason mm -hmm. to keep away from it. But you have been sharing just what's been happening in your life. Aye. You know, like, um, was it you that shared the thing about the taxi driver not knowing the words to the song? Or was that somebody no, else? No, it was me was in the it? back. <laughs> you. I was like, mm, mm, mm. And the, the guy, and I seen the guy, and I was caught me the side of my eye in the mirror, and he was like, ah. he says, oh, you don't know the words to that one, do you? And I was like, ah. I says, excuse me. I was mortified, see? Because I was just meant to mean business, as you do in the back when you're in a taxi. Cheeky cunt. <laughs> I know the guy, too. He's seen the video. Do you know what oh, I mean? Oh, I see. I, so. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's funny. Um, do you know what I mean? I, can your pain has, your pain I'm your paying his fear. fucking wages. Do you know what I mean? And he's making a feel of my singing. <laughs> oh, oh God. But you still, I mean, that's a, it just proves, though, that that is such a huge part of you. Just Aye. telling the stories. Aye, I just always being, do that. Do you know what you I know, mean? And when you're feeling better and your mental health is better, you will come back oh 100% um, and I'm ready am I ready to come back but just uh, can we talk about to your mental health I, I, I know that's fine do you know it's just like like some days are worse than others for me than now do you know what I mean and it's mostly night time that's when it's really bad Mm -hmm. um, during the day I'm alright because I feel that there's so much that I can get up to during the, the day you. do you know what I mean right. I can potter about the house to everybody but house work do you know what I mean um, I've went and bought a Nintendo Switch and I'm telling you the note I spent, it was about £300 including a game and then I think I maybe I spent about £300 on buying all these games I should have wrote it with me which all these games I bought my and they're all like 60 quid each I spent a fucking fortune so that's been a big distraction for me at all so that's what you've done is that I, you've been one of your own mechanisms I, I was like that. that switch is crazy it keeps me mm. dead hang me dead and focus I, it's nuts it is nuts it's worked wonders so if you are feeling a bit low buy yourself a Nintendo Switch <laughs> and if you've not got the money for that pop down to sex and just get a normal DS at £60 is that shop <laughs> <laughs> it's so unfortunate that that shop is called Sex, sex and, I but I didn't know it was pronounced to Sex until just last week when I... Emma, Mother Rendell was talking about it. I thought it was, mm. was Kex, which is <laughs> <laughs> no, so did I. Which isn't even that much better, to be honest. I'm... But I didn't know it was pronounced to Sex. Ah, yeah, it's, it's but not... so that's been. So you obviously need something to occupy you all the time. Especially my ADHD brain, I need some sort of distraction. Um, I like on walks. I go quite. I, I was just going to ask you that. What have you been doing to try? Because there's a lot of I, people. I get messages all the time about grief because, mm -hmm. and when I do videos talking about grief or podcasts talking about grief, people always message me saying mm -hmm. thank you for doing that. People don't talk about it enough, and it's it's such a difficult I, thing to deal with. And, but the other thing is that people need to remember is that no, everybody's in a place or a position to be able to talk, talk about, about it that. either. But what you could maybe share is just, like, how you dealt with the grief. I think just manifest in your brain that everything's going to be all right, I think, because I could be all right for five minutes and I hang about my mum and then... And then I'm right during the boat again, and then I just keep telling myself, oh, she's in a better place now, she's no one any of that pain anymore. She's wait, and obviously my pal Alison as well, like she actually, know, she passed that. the day um, my mum's funeral. Um, mm -hmm. And I always say to myself, she's up there with Alison, they're up there having a ball. Just manifest that everything is going to be mm -hmm. all right, do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And that has helped me a lot, do you know what I mean? It really, really has. But I, it's worse at night time, that's when... It uh, your mind goes mm -hmm. over time but I as I said that Nintendo Switch is definitely <laughs> has the work and I'm not aye. just saying that and, God, and it, it has worked massively it's weird has it I think grief and mental health kind of come hand in hand do not they has it um, impacted on your oh, ADHD aye, ma aye massively mm -hmm. I was actually 
I was actually going to go back on the medication. Um, but I said to myself, no, because if I go on that medication, I'm blocking all that out. And then when I've not got that, because I don't want to rely on a, a tablet, Mary, to make me feel, myself feel a bit better. And I don't want to block that out. And I don't want to be, be numb towards everything. I want to take it as it's got to come. Mm -hmm. Because then I could be on this medication for, what, a year? And then feel better. And then come back after it. And then I'm away doing again. So mm -hmm. I would rather just it all come to me than now and get it all, this grievance all out in the way. I'll never stop grieving. No. I just will learn. Do you know to what I mean? To live, run, run about mm -hmm. the grievance, but aye, it definitely medication is just, the doctor did say about that, but I'm like, nah, I can't Did you go it. to see your doctor? I, um, I did, mm -hmm. we had a, a wee long talk on the phone, um, and she did obviously say about the ADHD and stuff like that, and I was like, and she said to me that I had to go to a face-to-face -face thing to discuss about the medication I'm like no I don't even want to do it I'm not interested in the medication it's not going to help me I don't think but don't keep bragging we're on the sleeping tablets because I, I can't know, sleep. You're no sleeping, no. cannot sleep but at we're all. still I mean it is only four months aye, it's still we're early still early days, it really you know is I mean? aye, early mm. days and you've done I mean you're coping so well even what mm. you're saying I know you'll not feel like that aye. but even the fact that you're having these conversations with yourself and trying to keep your your thoughts <coughs> positives maybe mm -hmm. no <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the right word but mm -hmm. you know trying to tell tell your mind good things aye, to keep you on an, an even keel aye, that's it and the mental health like did you ever did you get offered any counseling or anything like that bereavement I did, counseling i did i am um, but <laughs> Obviously, I know some days well that they've lost their mum and that, and they says to me, look, you're better off leaving it like six months before you actually go and see anybody, because as soon as my mum passed, I was straight to the doctor, and that's what I was wanting, like a grievance, and the doctor says, look, you can get it, just like that if you want, but then other people were saying, look, it's best if you leave it a wee while mm -hmm. before going to talk to somebody. I did know that with the NHS, they, <clears throat> they, they, they don't do anything for six months. I've never really understood it, though. Mm. Is it is it to cut, give you time for the raw emotions to settle? Because that's not the same as the ongoing. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know either. I've not got a clue. But I'm glad that I never went. And, do you know what I mean? Like, I think definitely, potentially, in the future, I will go to a grievance counsellor. Um, in fact, I might do that when I'm back at my work. So you know, Does I come your back work next do year. like that for you? Um, no, but my work would be first like acted. Go. Do you know what right. I mean? They'd, they'd, they'd probably pay for it. Do you know what I mean? Were they dead supportive? Aye, oh my God, Jesus Christ, really supportive, aye. All of them, literally mm -hmm. every single last one of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so grateful for that because I think if I didn't have that in place there at my work, I, I, I don't know what I would be like. I do not know what I'd be like because that's kept me going. Mm -hmm. It really, really has. Like, so the support to other people has been massive Aye, it has been crazy, crazy. It's been amazing. Have you asked for support for anybody specifically that's helped, or has it just been there for you? It's anybody? just it's just been there, but like even my dad, like he's a big massive support. But I don't want my dad to support me because he needs support and all. Because my mm. dad is he's a lost soul, bless him. Do you know what I mean? He is really struggling with it as well. Um, but I, it's, it's weird. But everybody has been amazing. They have been really really mm -hmm. good. And what about your brothers? Where are they? I, they're just they kind of a, with your mum? Aye, they still, they still, they're still stay in the my house. mum's house, aye. They, they, they're just exactly the same as me, to be honest, but they're quite closed books, Alan and Ross. Mm -hmm. um, and I can be a closed book as well, Manny. Like, I wouldn't be sitting talking about this to anybody else. Like, I'm just talking about it because I've been asked about it, do you know what I mean? And I want to share it to try and maybe help somebody else as well. But I wouldn't just go up to somebody like, because I'm quite a closed book, I don't share emotions and all that with people. I don't. I've always been like that. I've always dealt with on my own my end. You know what I mean? But they're just the same as me. They're just trying to get on with it. And, mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And you did. I mean, it is still very raw. Um, and I'm feeling like pure guilty now. For no, don't be I've done this today. Um, but you did another podcast, and I love the guys. I love Aye. the Nail and the Fish mm -hmm. podcast. They follow me. I follow them. I've shared their stuff. They've shared mine. I love them. Mm -hmm. But that was dead soon. It was. It was very soon. Don't get me wrong. I loved that podcast with the guys. Um, when was that? Was that no September, October time? When did you go back down to Skegness? October. 
So it was before that. Uh, it was. It was. It was. Uh, it was before. Th I saw that was very soon. That was like the September, and I wasn't going to date him at all. Um, but Jordan had asked me to date like a couple of months prior to that without knowing about my mum. Mm -hmm. And I says I, and then I was like, oh, I says I now. Do you know what I mean? So I'm late today, but I'm glad I done it because the boys were lovely. Honestly, God, I still keep in contact with them. I love them to bits. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Aye, they're a um, great bunch. And I didn't. I should have watched it, but I didn't because I'm sure I said this last time. I don't like to watch too much because too much. then I come and all I'm doing is telling you what you said. Ah, you said that the last time Aye, as well. I'd rather just ask. Ah, you'd rather it. just ask. Aye. So what did you talk about on that one then? Oh, everything. We did speak about my mum, obviously. Um, spoke about my work and just like men and all oh, just all oh, different true, true different things to be honest to be honest I can't really mind Your stories. it Aye. I can't no that's fine it's um, I but, just wondered with it being so soon but you wouldn't I mean you're no in a place you're just not ready to talk about mm. your mum yet and that's fully understandable but you touched on the main thing there I need to ask about that because you know <laughs> you're a self self acclaimed slut <laughs> <laughs> You call yourself that, so, so uh, I, I feel that. it's fine to say that. I, um, Has there been any men helping you? <laughs> well, oh God. <laughs> No, no, really. To, well, obviously, I have been with a few kids since it's happened and that, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But as I said in the last podcast, and I'll say this all the time, I get dead bored dead easily. So, like, mm. I'll not go back to the same guy's life. I don't want any long term not, relationships. Because I don't want to break anybody's heart and I mm -hmm. don't want them to get attached because I've no, I'm no an attached person. I don't get attached mm -hmm. to guys. Do you You're know what I mean? You're very independent. I'm that way. And, um, I. Tell I, us some <laughs> funny stories, Lewis. I'm trying to think. Um, I don't so, even know. <laughs> so you do know, you do know. I'm I can trying, tell. I'm um, trying to think. Are you still like, in eight? Still the straight guys? Oh, aye, like, oh, aye. You don't. Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. And there's not been any that you can tell us about, even without mentioning names. Of, I'm, I'm honestly, you... I'm, I'm trying my hardest to think, <laughs> Mary. I really, really, honestly, I'm. I'm not going to force um, you. Um, are you seeing anybody that I No, no, I'm no. No. And you're quite happy. I am quite happy, I. I. In Christmas time there, I know you said when before we pressed record, you spent Christmas with your mum. Is it your mum's sister? Aye. Mm -hmm. And so Christmas was okay for you, I weren't could, you? Oh, right? it was a lovely time in Christmas day. It was lovely. So there was me, there was Alan, there was Ross, obviously, my Uncle William, my Auntie Cathy and my Auntie Anne. Ryan, Caitlin, Stephen, wow. Mackenzie, Jack, um, have I forgot anybody? No, that's that. So, and and that the rain, a wee Carson as well. And that was in your auntie's That house? was in my aunt Catherine's eye. That's right. a lovely, we had a lovely time. Uh, did you stay or did you just go in the morning? Um, so, I went quite late, well about half two, because uh, I was getting ready and that's my makeup. <laughs> it suits me forever. And, um, so I went up about half two, then we left about nine o'clock, and then we went back down to my bit, we had a few pre-drinks in there, then we went up to my pal Daniel's, and I'm st I'm not going to lie, I'm are still feeling a bit rough, Mary. Are you? Aye, Mary, I want to look terrible. <laughs> la my haggle was really last about three days. Oh my God. Just go so you've had a good time? What well, were you doing? Were you time. partying, Partying, dancing, dancing. we doing everything, singing, honestly, it was a brilliant time. Good, Absolutely brilliant. Good. It was good. I did enjoy it. And, and I didn't think I was going to enjoy it. I thought it was going Aye. to be a dead sad time, but it wasn't. It was a ball. I had a ball. Mm -hmm. Then um, yesterday, was that yesterday? I spent £70 on a Domino's yesterday at oh 11 o'clock. Oh my God, I thought you gave up the Domino's. That's oh, another thing you've been, you've been you know talking I mean? about on the, the TikTok. I can't, it's because of you I wouldn't go near Domino's. Oh, I'm like, man. I am not paying that for a pizza. Mary, I love Domino's. And see, to be honest with you, I want to work with Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Like, Mary, I'm not joking. I've emailed Domino's and oh, saying, look, Why, so you can get staff discount? Aye. And see, the thing is, I know a lassie, we Nicole, she works in Domino's, right? Um, and I, I, she doesn't give me a discount. I'm raging. I feel like messaging her. Was that 70 quid for one meal for you? No, so I get two pizzas, two boxes of hot wings. Yeah, give me that. Um, you. you can open your new one. The cookies, I didn't eat them, so I keep them. And the garlic breads, but... Seventy-two pound. That's quite still dear for two pizzas and two boxes of wings. Stinking dear. And is that in Kerluk? So they're not, they're not even coming that far. Literally just doing it, hen. And I was at my pal Daniel's, which is just up that hill there. 
It's terrible, the price of Domino's in Kidlock. Oh, that's ridiculous, man. Uh, you're saying about your, your pal, Danielle. Who's the other pal that you're, is your best pal? Kirsty. Like, Kirsty, that's who I was Aye. thinking of. Because uh, she's got the wee girl mm -hmm, as Ayla. well, has, and you adore her. Oh my god, I, so I could you, actually great think about her a day, I love her at bits. Uh, so you've got that support mm -hmm. network. That's Aye, like Kirsty's been amazing, she is obviously my best pal. And even her family as well, they've been really, really supportive as well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm actually going to see Kirsty after this. Are you? Well, yes. I'll drop you off there. Um, I feel like I've still I'll, do that. Aye, I'll do that. Um, so just before we go, like finally on the, the mental health thing, how is your mental health now then? Uh, I, it's, some days are better than others, to be honest with you, but as I said, I, I just keep manifesting it in my brain that everything is going to work out for the best. And do you know what I mean? And I just say to myself, like my mum would always want me to keep going. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And no. No and has that upsetting. been a big thing for you? Like, you just doing it all yourself? Because I'm, like, sitting here quite amazed mm. that you're telling yourself all of this yourself and nobody actually said to you, this is how to cope with it or whatever. And you did have a conversation with a doctor, but you never accepted any medication. And it's just, like, I feel quite blown away by that, that Aye. you've just kind of... I think it, was, it, it all reflects back to like, the person that my mum was as well because my mum was always somebody that kept going, now my mum, she had a hard life and all do you know what I mean? Right. And, mm -hmm. um, but she was, all oh, she just kept going and just got on with life do you know what I mean? Right. Like everybody but has again, their struggles I... do you know what I mean? And it's the way I've been brought up, you just get on with it and if you want, if you have a break during, have that break during, that's what you need. Some people need a break during and I've had many a break during, believe me you have, um but as I said, some days are better than others. And see, the day I feel great, the day. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I'll go up and see Kish during the way in, and then I'll go home and then I'll probably have another break done. But then the morning I'll wake up feeling all right again. And do you know what I mean? It's You're just, just one of the days. just a day at a time. Mm -hmm. Aye. Did, you, did you have any conversations with your mum about that type of thing? Like before? Uh, no, it, because I didn't. No, make... you didn't get to see her? Uh, no, I, I, I see my mum right like, all no, the time. No, I know what I mean is. Like, it's like... I didn't want to talk to my mum about it, like, Aye, cause right. she was scared as it is, and I didn't want to have that sort of conversation with my mum, do you know what I mean? Because she, she was scared, she didn't you know what was happening either. Protect her. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I, um, it's just awful. Do you think it's, I don't know, is it taught you anything? Oh, I'm like, it's changed my whole life. I feel like I'm a completely different person. I look at life differently and everything now. I really do, even though it's been four months. So like, only four months? And I'm, I, you know, don't be hard know, on yourself. But, and it's like, I have like, it, it has taught me a lot. It really, really has. Like every day you need to just count your blessings and keep everybody dead close to you. Do you know what I mean? And don't hold any grudges. Do you know what I mean? And I have lost some pals or this. You're joking. I, like, I honestly have. I just feel as if some certain people haven't been there for me and they don't understand it. Mm -hmm. So I have completely mm -hmm. washed my horns with them. And people that I've been pals with for fucking years, Mary, and I mean since I was a tadpole, that just don't understand it. And I have then done the adult thing and just been like, actually, you know fuck off. And I know they watch this because they're still obsessed with me. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, nah, do you know what I mean? I don't want people like you. I hate self centered people. And I felt as if it was a one-way conversation I was having me set these certain people all the time. It's like, all oh, about them, 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 them. And I'm like, and I know it's not about me, but come on to fuck you. Like, I've lost my mum and one of my best pals. Do you know what I mean? In the space of four fucking months. And all you can sit here now is talk about you, 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 you. And how you're struggling with your mental health because of this has happened or that's happened. Put your fucking self in my shoes and deal with what I've had to deal with. And then you can start moaning to me about your child. Do you know what I mean? It's just mm. no. And I have washed my hands completely. I'm glad you've a lot of people. That. And I... it does, that's it teaches you. And it does teach you like who's there and who isn't. They say when you lose your mum, it'll be the hardest thing that you will ever, ever come across in your life. Any parent, and I don't care what anybody says. I've lost my gran and all that, right? I, it was hard, heartbreaking. I was really, really, really sad. And that took me a while to go on, but it was nothing like, and I'm not comparing it. I'm just, it was just nothing like losing your parent. Right, the experience the worst thing. for you mm -hmm. was completely, you know, and life changing, I, as you've said. It's it scarred me for life. See that last night in that hospice, that has scarred me for the rest of my life, and I will never, ever, ever get over that. I will never, mm -hmm. ever, ever, ever in my life. And 
just fucking awful life is an absolute cunt and I know there's loads of things we could talk about maybe when you are ready to talk about your mum about that end of life scenario mm. because I haven't experienced it as well in this country my view on end of life completely changed as mm. well and how awful. you know what happens mm -hmm. I know because it is if you've been through it mm. it's it's no good um but do you know, I was just going to say, see that that you said about cutting people off. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you said that because I feel in society, because I've cut a lot of people yeah. off for the, like, but I just think, nah, mm -hmm. like where your morals are in a different yeah. place and you've, you know, it's maybe something happens that is the straw because you put up with a lot before you cut somebody off. Oh, I you feel. You don't just lot. go, oh, I'm not happy with that one thing you said, you're so cut, off. cut off. You, you put a, up it's with been a, thing that... a build up. Aye. And then you finally go, no, there's mm -hmm. a line now and I'm going to cut you off. And I think it's so important to normalise that mm -hmm. in society. I'm not saying cut everybody off, that, you know, like we say, like I've just said, that says something that's no suiting you mm -hmm. once. No, I'm talking about cutting people off who are consistently, consistently all the time. Not behaving mm -hmm. in the right way or what you deem is morally right exactly. for you. Aye. So I do think, and it doesn't matter who that is, you've just said it was somebody that you knew for years, probably just like family. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who it is if they're, if they're no mm. treating you right. And, it's see, and see, the thing is, my other pals say to me about these people that I've cut off, and they say, Do you know how they'll ever talk again? I'm like, no, I don't. I would never like to say anything bad's happened to them, right? I wouldn't. Do you no, know what I, I mean? But that just shows my maturity. Do you know what I mean? I don't want anything bad to happen to them. But at me as a person, I'll just never have a friendship, a relationship with any of these people ever again in my fucking life. I just will not. And I think they know that now because mm -hmm. I've tried to reach out and I've just block, 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 trying to phone me off at other people's phones and all that. And I know that they're wanting back pals me because I've now realised, oh, fuck, I've lost a good pal here. Mm. I've shot myself in the fit completely and I just will never accept it again. I'll just what can I be asked for people like that. Mm -hmm. Can't can't go up, Mary. Can I go up? Mm -hmm. No, and it's also so important for your mental health. Massively. That's the most mm -hmm. important thing um, to have the right people around about you. you. Aye. And if they're no, like I'm a massive advocate of that, if they're no the right people, get them to, to fuck. fuck. <laughs> you, exactly. if you, as you have, have already said, mm -hmm. Life's too short, exactly. and you're testament to that now, my wee doll. You're, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm so <laughs> great. I just want to cuddle you. Oh, I'm so grateful mm -hmm. that you came out. You did need me. Oh, you I did, did need me. But I'm this is we've it. been talking about this since February, <laughs> <laughs> like, and and because we've been talking about it, I didn't want to like act as if we hadn't had the conversation, even mm -hmm. though you'd lost your mum. I was oh, like, I still again. need to message you because Aye. that's what we've mm -hmm. talked about. Um, so thank you for coming mm -hmm. and sharing a wee bit and. We'll do it again next I year. I definitely so. We'll do it again again next year. <laughs> I will see. I can't wait to see what's <laughs> happened by then. For you and your I, life. I know it's crazy, but it's been an absolute pleasure, Mary. Do you know what I mean? It has been. Oh, yeah, uh, you and man. A f so you are so sweet. Honestly, literally. You and made your mum proud. I know, bless her. I'd say it, I think oh. about her all the time. And I dream about my mum every night. It's weird. Uh, it's you like know I that's feeling. Have it's you read into that? Are you spiritual? <laughs> well, I, I've actually went for a spiritualist, Mary. She did me after oh you lost your mum. Mm -hmm. Did she come through? A wee bit. Uh -huh. It was you know, my papa merely came through. Right. It was strange, but the woman that done it. In fact, I'll give a shout out, Mary's Angels. She's mm -hmm. fucking phenomenal. She on Facebook. Aye. Aye. I've she is that. absolute. But she never knew who I was. She never heard of me because I'd had gone. That's like she follow me as well. <laughs> and I went on every social media platform. Mm. She knew nothing. She didn't know who I was or anything, right? And so obviously I went, it was in shots. Um, make this quite quick. No, it's all right. And, um, There's no time limit. Aye, Tell your well, story. And um, obviously I went, or they'd be kissed, and obviously she's lost her, one of her baby babies, and she's lost her two uncles as well. That, and aye. her life's just been as hard as mine. Do you know what I mean? The two of us have been through a hell of a hell of a time. So she went, and I didn't really go for a message, Mary. I I just went there to, for everybody else's. Do you know what I mean? And I was in there, and then everybody recognised me and all that. But, and she she came up and she was like, can you go and stone in the flare for me, please? So when I went to stone the dance flare and she was talking about this blind, this roller blind, and I couldn't relate to this, Mary, and I was like, oh, she's talking shit here, I can't relate to anything mm -hmm. that this woman was saying about this roller blind. She's like, there's a problem with this blind or something. So 
she then started talking with my papa and I could, everything that she was saying, I was like, oh my God. Like, because my papa, he had a fucked up nose and that, because he was a boxer and that back up the day, mm -hmm. and it was all wonky. But my cousin, he's got kind of the same nose. Um, she was talking about my nose and she's like, did you ever go through? I said, well, you didn't like your nose? I went, oh, aye. I said, I've had filler and that in my nose and potentially I will in the future to get a filled rhinoplasty. Do you know what I mean? And she was like, and she found this dead funny. And she's like, your papa's giving you the thumbs up. She says, your nose is fucking fine. <laughs> and she started talking like him a wee bit. Like, oh putting this God, voice on. Man. And I was like, oh, my God. And I knew straight away and I was, and I could relate. And I shit you not, Mary. Then a couple of weeks later, my big brother comes into my dad's place to get a Chinese, and he comes in and he was talking about this roller blind, and I'm sitting there like that, and I swear to God, Mary, I could not stop greeting, I could not stop greeting because it wouldn't. I turn me back to that t moment mm -hmm. she says mm -hmm. that roller blind. When my mum was in the hospital, right, and she, I never heard her saying this, but she kept saying to Alan because Alan he works. In fact, no. And Alan told you that story. Aye. After you, oh after my God. After the hotel meet. Um, so what was so it? Alan works beside the range, do you know mm -hmm. what right? Mm -hmm. So he works beside it, right? So my mum says to him, go and get a new roller blind for that back bedroom. He says, because it doesn't go with the interior in the room and whatever. And the fucker kept phone down. Kept phone down. And Alan never ever went and got the new roller blind when my mum's in the house. Because he had other things on his mind. My mum was unwell. She was, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he never ever went to get this new roller blind, but he did. No long after I went to see that spiritualist and he says to me, says, I had to go and get a new roller blind because that roller blind kept falling down and kept falling down. And I'm like, why? How would she ever know that? I didn't even know that. Like, nobody knew oh, that. That was just something that nobody else would know. And mm. I was like that. I couldn't stop greeting us. Uh, so that was your mum? That was I, your so mom? that was my mum. Oh, and my I, I, God. I, I need to phone Kirsty here and mm. see the phone Kirsty. Even Alan was like, what the fuck? That's crazy. It was nuts that's mental and this other woman sorry and i hope this woman and if she sees this i hope she doesn't mind me talking about this but it was just that amazing i was blown away mary and i did believe in things like this but me so knew that i've actually seen it like mm -hmm. stuff that she'd mm -hmm. been saying she was walking up and she kept saying she's got a pain in her sides like really really bad she's like i keep getting this weird pain in my side here she was like that and she went up to this woman and this woman must have been about late 40s she had short dark hair, I'll never forget her. And the woman just instantly started greeting when she went up to her. Because I think she was th that emotional. And her son came through, this woman's wee boy came through. And he was only dead young, he must have been about 15 year old. And he went into the hospital to get his appendix taken out. And he never ever come back out the hospital, he died in there. Mm -hmm. So just a wee small procedure to get your, mm -hmm. it is your appendix mm -hmm. in it. Aye, 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 aye. To get them mm -hmm. taken out. And the wee laddie passed away in the hospital. And the boy come through. And Mary says, you're worried about him not getting taken care of up there. She's like, but it's him. He says, he's in the taken care of up there. And she just was floods of tears and I was breaking my heart. I was like, oh my God. But that woman, she knows something and she has got the touch. Because mm -hmm. I swear, I've never seen anything like it in my life. She had me up the fucking stage and everything in the YMCA. <laughs> I was loving it. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> but what a day. It was so... It was lovely, Mary. So, were you no into that until you met no, that woman? No. Mm -mm. And are you, is that you now? Do oh, you God, believe? Oh, God, aye. 100%. Mm -hmm. I, and I'm so glad I went to that because if I never went to that, I think I got a wee bit of comfort out of that. Oh, I did massively. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just so thankful for my pal Kirsty to even take me to something like that because she goes all the time and I was never that bored. I love it. I'm, I've been to one like that mm. where people have been Aye. in tears because it's been that. It's as if the person mm -hmm. is right there with the, the spiritualist. It was crazy. Would you go back to try thousand and percent. to your mum? A thousand percent. I definitely think in the future I'd get a one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. But that's what the woman says to me because we were at the back and I was, because I was having a few pints of smoke, Mary. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me trying to act like I don't pass. I said, like, uh, that's going to be a shock I know. So I, I, was, I was at the back having a fag and she did say to me, she says, Look, she says, understand. She's like, that, You'll have both somebody. She's like, ah. But if you're ever wanting like a one to one, she's like, I'll leave it like six months, like as mm -hmm. it's the same with the. Everything. Everything. Like, leave it, it a while. People do it for therapy. Mm -hmm. People do it as part of their healing. And that's that the day. And she's like, ah, and then come and see me and I'll give you a reading. I'm like, oh, thanks then. So you'll need to, you'll not be able to go before you go back down the road. Because mm -mm. when do you go down the road? February? Aye. Uh, well, 
I've already packed and everything, Max. It's you know, Max. I've just called you Max here. That's Kirsty's <laughs> mom's name. Max, I'm calling you Max. Um, I am ready to go because, see, Christmas time, I get so much fucking clays, man. It's unbelievable. I'm too good to myself. And you just pack them straight And I'm away. like that. I've got no way to put all that stuff. And I mean, Mary, see the amount of clothes I've got. It's actually vile, disgusting. Because I keep everything. Like, I've got clothes since I was like 15 year old. And this jumper looks brand new. I was thinking that when you get I, out, did Santa bring you? No, I bought that myself. That's nice. Well, Santa did bring me. I, I <laughs> bought this for new look, I think. Um, I the minute because I've got it's terrible and I've just got no way to put them all because like, I've got clays like my dad's he's got one of the beds and it's got the storage but underneath um, and I've got clays okay. under there and he's like ah, well, you're taking over my room I know and I'm like ah, that's too much so I've started packing stuff away to get back to work so I'm in I'm in the hair shows obviously for two or three weeks before I actually officially start work but you're back down in February aye so the next time you come up you'll need to try and get her the woman aye I will I will see her then I've got her on Facebook aye, now lots of people do it I've got Aye. one in the book now. I sent mm. my friend's request as soon as I get in. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be all part of your journey as well. Aye. Thanks for that wee story. I quite enjoyed that. Right? Aye, it, was, it was. It, it was <laughs> brilliant. Can, I can save up all these stories <laughs> I know, and tell us when stories. about going to see you next year when yes. you come back. Thanks. Well, it's been an actual... <laughs> and you know, I actually put an eyelash show in the day to do this. So I, never see, had... I look pure like, death warmed up with you. Oh, on shut up. Don't be daft. Because the last time I never had a lash show in. Did you know? No, it was well, just mascara because I watched it back a couple of weeks ago again. Did you? Aye. Did you watch it back as well? So I that... watched it twice, but see, the, the first time I did it, I was pissed and I can't remind it, so I watched it back. <laughs> I, I like, like watching it back. Aye. Aye. I quite enjoyed watching it. I don't watch them back either because mm. I pure cringe at myself, but I quite liked watching that one back. That, Before I knew fun. it, it was over. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe how quick it was. Aye. So, I think this one's been very quick as well. Aye, it aye. was. Aye. So we'll do it again next year. <sighs> We'll see you then. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> Bye. so much. Bye. Bye.